All right, in this video, we're going to look at uh, some higher degree approximations for functions. So in certain cases, we can approximate functions with actually an infinite sum of functions, uh, uh, an infinite sum, an infinite polynomial. Um, and it's given by this following formula. We're going to find some uh, higher degree approximations just by using finitely many terms. And um, here we go. So. Um, we're going to find the cubic approximation for f of x equals sine x at x equals 3 pi over 2. Okay, so the a value that I have here in the formula, that's going to be uh, equivalently the x value that they give us. Sometimes people will write it as x, sometimes people will write it as a. So, so again, if we fill in this formula, you know, my little formula here, so... If we want a cubic approximation, we're going to have to go out to uh, degree 3. So we're going to have to compute the value for f of 3 pi over 2 plus f prime of 3 pi over 2 divided by 1 factorial. Then we'll have x minus 3 pi over 2. So I'm just replacing all the a's with 3 pi's over 2 is all I'm doing. f double prime of 3 pi um, over 2. That's divided by 2 factorial, x minus 3 pi over 2 squared. And I think I'm going to run out of room, so one more. We'll have the third derivative evaluated at 3 pi over 2 divided by 3 factorial times x minus 3 pi over 2 cubed. Okay, so we'll have to fill in this stuff. The only thing that we're really missing values for at this point um, the only things we have to compute are f of 3 pi over 2, f prime, f double prime, and f triple prime. Okay, so the first thing I usually do is I just make a little table, or not even a table, I just kind of take all my derivatives. So f of x is sine x, well the first derivative is going to be cosine x, the second derivative will be negative sine x, and then the third derivative will simply be negative cosine x. So now I'm going to evaluate f of 3 pi over 2, f prime of 3 pi over 2, f double prime of 3 pi over 2, and uh, the third derivative of f at 3 pi over 2. So f of 3 pi over 2, well that's going to be sine of 3 pi over 2. So 3 pi over 2, all right, that puts us at the bottom of the circle. We're at 0, negative 1. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is going to be negative 1. Okay, uh, then we'll get cosine of 3 pi over 2. But cosine of 3 pi over 2 is going to equal 0. F double prime of 3 pi over 2, that's going to be negative sine of 3 pi over 2. So we'll get negative negative 1 or positive 1. And then the third derivative evaluated at 3 pi over 2. Again, that's going to be negative cosine of 3 pi over 2, which again is going to give us 0. So now we've really done everything. I'm just going to go back and replace. So it says the cubic approximation. So assuming this approximation is valid. Again, you can't use this formula in all cases, and we'll talk about this stuff a little bit more. Um, but it, for sine x, this is absolutely valid to do. So it says we'll take f of 3 pi over 2. Well, hey, we said that is negative 1. Uh, plus, notice our f prime of 3 pi over 2. That's going to be 0. So our whole second term is just going to be 0. Then we'll have, um, so f double prime of 3 pi over 2. We said that equals positive 1. So we'll have 1 over 2 factorial times x minus 3 pi over 2 squared. And notice uh, uh, the third derivative at 3 pi over 2, again, that's 0. So that's going to make our whole, um, you know, our last term uh, equal to 0. So all we're left with in this case is negative 1 plus, well, 2 factorial, that's just uh, 2. So we've got 1 half times x minus 3 pi over 2 quantity squared. 
And that would now be our, okay, so again, it says cubic approximation, right? And you, you may be looking at this and saying, well, that's not cubic, that's only squared. But this would also count, in fact, as the cubic approximation, because again, the, uh, the third degree term is just zero. So um, that sometimes happens, that's okay. So we would consider this our uh, third degree approximation. We could also say it's the second degree approximation, obviously, as well.